Hello everyone, welcome back. My name's Kenny, and welcome to another game review. The game I want to talk to you guys about today is probably the most anticipated game for myself in 2016. This game is Far Cry 5 or Far Cry Primal. Now, this game is set in 10,000 BC, that's before Christ, or another scientific name, I don't know what it is. But basically this game is set back in caveman times where you have to fight for survival up against other cavemen and working with tribes and hunting animals and being hunted by animals. The first point I wanted to make was just the crispness, if that's the word, just the, the level of detail that has gone into this new game. I first played it and I was in a completely dark room and as I was playing the prologue I found that it was too bright. Just the level of colour in the game was just overpowering. I had to actually open the curtains because it was just so overpowering. That's not a bad thing, it's just amazing what the level of detail that went into this new game. The second point I wanted to make was about the gameplay. As always, I talked about the gameplay, talking about how I liked it, if there was parts within the gameplay that I don't like. But so far in Far Cry Primal, I've found that the gameplay is very smooth. It's very, it's very structural and it's very survival based, as it would be back in the caveman era. So I found this to be to be very true to the history of humanity, of humankind. Third point I wanted to make was the sort of the more things that you can do with animals now. Now, in Far Cry 4, you would always be attacked by animals. This is still present in Far Cry Primal, but you can also tame and have animals as your companions, which is honestly pretty awesome. I mean, back then, I reckon, like, I don't really have, like, an accurate depiction of what it would be like 10,000 BC, but this game is pretty close to it. Fifth point I wanted to make was that there's no guns, obviously, because it's 10,000 BC. The only weapons that you have given, or what, what I've found so far, is a bow and arrow, a hammer, or club, and a spear. I've seen that there's other, you can get sort of like a knife, and it's different sort of weapons, but there's no sort of guns, you haven't got a shotgun, a pistol, that sort of thing. So the only sort of range weapon that you do have for long range, or you just can't bother going up to something is the bow and arrow. The bow and arrow is very similar to what you had in Far Cry 4. Well, minus sort of like the scope because they would have had no idea back then. But I found that the bow and arrow is very good for hunting as it would have been back in 2000 BC. The sixth point I wanted to make was the cutscenes. Now at the beginning of the game you go there's a little, there's a little um, year on the middle. I don't know if you guys have seen the gameplay. The year is 2016 and it goes backwards to 10,000 BC and in the background you can ha you can hear the audio of like World War 2, World War 1 sort of what it was like, what it's like in the present day and then going back, you're going through all the wars and ancient China and all that right back to 10,000 BC and just there was no pictures apart from just the clock, like the year clock going backwards this would have to be my favourite opening to a game I've ever seen because it was so simple, but it meant so much. And honestly, it was freaking awesome just to see this clock and hear our his the humankind history. The sixth and final point I wanted to make, it's a little fun thing. You can light everything, pretty much everything on fire. I'd be walking past, I have a lit club, and I could just be walking past and I can set literally anything on fire. Grass on fire, animals on fire, people on fire, random shit around on fire, and not to sound like a firebug, but that's pretty fun to do. I'd have to give Far Cry Primal a solid 9 out of 10. It's not the perfect game, apart from graphics, but I reckon they had a lot to work on, but it still wasn't sort of reached my mark. But that's not saying that's a bad thing, because I am really enjoying this game. Once I finish recording this, I will be returning to play Far Cry 5. Um, Far Cry 5. As you can see in the background. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. And if I am new to you, don't forget to subscribe if you did enjoy this video. Because I have many other game reviews and tech stuff and unboxings and random stuff like that. 
Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.